In this video, I'm going to be discussing the Select and Mask button in Image Extract. This button does the exact same thing as if you were to right click on the Image Extract layer and use Select and Mask here. There are two differences though. The first difference is if you are not on the Image Extract layer, using the button will automatically select your layer so you don't have to worry about clicking on your layer. You can just click the button regardless of the layer you're on and it will select that for you. The second thing is the Select and Mask button will start with specific settings. It will put all of these settings here to zero. It's going to uncheck the decontaminate colors, which you generally do not want to use, and that is because Image Extract already applies this into another layer above the foreground layer. So I've got other videos that discuss the color fix, so watch that. So I'm not going to really discuss that here. But just know that generally you don't want to check that on. Now the button will set your um, brush to the refined mask brush. And it is also going to select your view to the mask view. So this is how it will start whenever you use the button in the plugin. If you want to use specific settings or the same settings you used last time, then if you right click on the selected mask, it will pull up the last settings you used. So then from here, you can change the view if you want or change anything else you want. I like to use for the view either black and white or on layers. Then you would just use selected mask the same way you would with any image. Now I'm going to show the Select the Mask itself in more details in some, um, some different videos that are more about the editing. <laughs> this video was more just showing what the button does and the difference between using it and the Select the Mask here. And you can see that that applied the change to the image. And if we look in the mask, we can see the changes in the mask itself. So anyway, it's pretty basic if you know how to use Select the Mask then you don't really need training on using it, but just know that this button will automatically select the layer for you, and then it will put those settings to a known starting point that I discussed earlier. Thanks for watching.